Hi everyone! So today I was going to make what I thought was going to be a quick video on making a little candy lay for like graduation, things like that. Um, but I ran into a little hiccup. So I usually have um, like that kind of wrap, like cellophane wrap on large rolls. And the last time I used it I think it was like Christmas time, I made like candy bouquets. And then we started cleaning the garage and I'm like, oh this stuff is like a dollar, I'll just buy more. You know, so I tossed out whatever I had. Um, they were kind of open rolls and all that kind of stuff. And of course, I need some today. So I was like, oh, I'll just go grab some at the Dollar Tree. Uh, they had none. And I have a feeling people are doing these uh, candy lays because literally the candies I was thinking about using were pretty much gone. So I was like, huh, like Smarties and things like that, right? That would fit the shape of what you would want, what you saw in the thumbnail there. So, sorry guys, I had to change out my camera. But anyway, so um, I did pick up a ton of candies. I'm going to use a different kind of... Um, outer casing for the lay. Now this stuff is just a basket bag. It's basically, it's not really cellophane. It's a little more plasticky. You can definitely use, um, talking about cellophane, like plastic wrap. It, it might even feel softer when the person's wearing it because the plastic wrap obviously kind of molds and does its own thing. You can definitely use that. I just grabbed this. I'm going to cut it down. I wish I'd found the rolls. Again, they only had like pink and purple that was like foil so that you couldn't even see through it. And the whole point of the candy lay is that you can see through it. So we're going to do a little something. I'm just going to cut these guys down. It says that they're 30 inches by 24. So I think I'm... What's funny is that it's already round if you really think about it because it's a plastic bag. I mean, if you wanted to cut it just in strips and then add the candies and have it just be round because it's round, um, circular, you know. But I think I'm still going to cut it in what would be a strip. And I'm just going to cut it straight down one side. And then um, leave this juncture there. Well, that's the opening. But the juncture over here where it's closed up. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. So we'll get there. But let's put this to the side. Generally use uh, cellophane rolls, right? Um, again, plastic wrap. Whatever it is that you want to use. Some people just put candies and tie the candies together or put the candies in like smaller little bits and then tie those together, which takes a long time. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, the school colors are like red and blue. So I grab red and blue curling ribbon to help us tie our sections because there's going to be candy in each little section. And after the promotion, uh, my son Dorian wants to go hang out with one of his friends at a theme park. So um, I'm making one for his friend too. So um, I just grab a bunch of different things. So who knows? You know, like... Whatever I thought would fit in like the little sections nicely. So just a huge assortment of candy. I'm just going to open them up. There's some gum in here. There's some mamba. There's some fun things like these sprays. So that'll make a fun section, I think. Um, and, you know, just lots of different candies. Oh, another mamba. <laughs> Apparently that was something I was really thinking about. Yeah, it was crazy. They had no Smarties and things like that. I'm like, how the heck? Is that really grab? I guess that's it, guys. So we're going to make them with these chewy sticky kind of candies the reason i didn't get any chocolates because i figured they're gonna be wearing them and i didn't want the chocolate to warm up and then them having uh melted chocolate so that's basically how i was thinking about that um yeah i wish they had smarties they didn't and i'm like do i have some here at the house i don't think i do i have always have tons of candies here at my house with generous chocolate okay so like i said for this to work today i'm just going to cut it up the side and i want to make sure okay and i was going to leave it even you can't tell once everything gets cut in like no one's gonna be able to tell like oh it's a little crooked there but um i don't really well actually i mean you can make this work for you because it is a bag but i'm just gonna go for what i would normally do to make one of these guys so i'm gonna cut this side off actually we can use this whole side i guess if we wanted to um let me open the bag again so i show you what i mean you know the edge of the side of the bag Again, if you have foil roll, just or the roll, just do that without um, cutting that off. But I think what I'm going to do, let me think. It looks like it's 30. Let me see how long that is. Okay. I'm just deciding which width I want to use. So I'm just going to cut one of these sides, and I think that should be long enough. Okay, guys. Sorry, um, I was kind of debating how I should cut this as far as the length. Um, I need it to be stuck together. Where is the cut down here? Now again, this is because this is a bag, so I'm sorry I have to cut it a certain way. Um, let's think. If I cut up this way, and it opens up on the side. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to cut it up against... It's not sealed, but that's basically where it doesn't open right because it's a bag. And the side is also closed up. Um, 
What I'm going to do is cut a long strip like this on the longest side, and then we need to cut that side, this little side area off. So you, if you have a strip that's just um, your um, roll, just you know, cut about five inches wide, however wide you need it to accommodate your candy so the candy doesn't fall out. Um, on top of that, however long you would want it to be, um, of course a roll is going to roll out as much as you can. This is only 30 inches tall and 24 inches wide, so I'm going to try to cut this on the 30 inch side. Um, so I can double it and get at least 60 inches of length. Um, I do want to cut this one side off and then you want to give yourself again like four or five inches of width. You can do this with tool. Tool looks really cute. Um, and you know tool rolls are normally sold like six inches wide anyway. Um, so I have that and then I'm going to cut this down. I don't know. That might be closer to five or six inches. And let's see what that looks like. And I think that's gonna work. So we have this long strip. That's what you want, like a long strip. Again, I have to do mine. <laughs> do a little work on that because of the um, not having the roll. Now I'm gonna leave this all the way open like this. And I know a lot of it's not in frame as far as what you can see, but in the very center, since it's kind of stuck together there already, and that's my center, I'm going to put a tie there. So. Just, you know, using it the way it is. And, of course, mine has kinks in it because it's what it is. So I'm going to open all these things up, guys, and just start grabbing candies and putting them out. Um, so let me open everything up, and we'll just uh, make our lay. It's really easy. And I do apologize for anything that's outside of the frame. But if this is our center, I'm going to put these lot bigger things down the bottom because if this were toward the top, like where you're going to tie it together, you know, it kind of makes it a continuous loop, obviously. So... Um, it's not the biggest deal, but I'm going to put that there and then maybe this one here, right? And you're just going to place candies however you think. So maybe this one and this one, maybe some gum after that. And just keep going up the ladder here. Maybe a couple of Laffy Taffies in one spot. I don't know. Maybe it'll just be one. But that's it. So I am going to actually put this more this way. So I can see the end of this guy. Okay, let me see. So maybe a couple here and a couple of these guys here. And I'm going to put these at the other end, okay? So just line it up. Maybe leave yourself four or five inches at the end where you're not going to put anything. Let me open these guys up and we're just going to tie them. All you're going to do is <laughs> overlap these guys so that the candy doesn't fall out and put little ties in between each thing. So really easy. I'll be right back. So these are open and they're ready. If you want to put a little tape just to help you out, you can definitely do that. It's not necessary. And in fact, it'll probably show up. So it's probably not like my favorite thing to do. But let's say you put some here and you just put a little bit of tape. Um, again, I, re I really don't want to. But I'm just showing you that you can do that. I'll put the smallest amount. Um, just to help you out if you're not familiar with these guys, you know, um, maybe the first few times that you make them. Give yourself a little tape. You're basically just making a little package. <laughs> Super cute. Okay. And then we're going to take these guys, you know, however much you like. That's about probably 10 inches, I would say. Oh, you know what? Should we do two of them together? Blue and red. That'll make it look even more festive and cute. I was going to do one at a time, but let's go for it. This one's actually already... I cut it in a weird spot. And... You're just going to tie each little section. So, right here. Take that. You can do a full knot, just a tie, but whatever it is that you'd like to do. I'm going to go with the full knot. And I can see that that streamer is already ripping this one because it was cut from earlier. And then we do this kind of thing. Now you can do this at the end. You don't have to do it with every section. Just get them all going and then curly cue them up. So cute. So in between each section, again, I'm going to get my... Little bits here. And just between each section of candy, just do your little tie. And again, tape it, don't tape it. It'll stay in, you don't have to tape them. I was just showing you in case that's your first time making it and you're kind of a little scared. And then kind of keep them tight. You know, I try to form them around, oops, the um, whatever it is that you put in that spot. So there we go. Hopefully you can still see what I'm doing. Or not. And then our little making them cute. 
just taking the side of your scissor, putting your thumb on the opposite side, and giving it a curl. Okay, and I'll do that along the whole thing. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I just went along, I did the left side, and I'm doing the right side. And again, I leave the curling basically to the end, because if you stop, and you curl, and you stop, and you curl, it's just easier to come and do all this. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to tie this together, and it would be something similar if I was using a roll. It's just that... Um, I need pretty much all the length that this bag could give me, so we will see how I'm going to tie it together um, in a fun way. But uh, if you're using tool, what's really nice is that you can just tie it, you know, with a cute bow at the end. Tie them the two ends together. Oh, I cut that one off. <laughs> you see that? Um, so I'm just going to continue doing that. And I have quite a bit left here, probably seven or eight inches. And then on this side, there's a little bit left too. But basically, you can tie those together and just make a knot. You know, I was going to do one last little bout of candy because I think I, you know, it's a little bit crooked. Like, well, let me see. Let me see how long this is on me. Oh, you know what? That's actually probably good enough. Um, I kind of wanted to keep it even, but maybe I'll still add another. Oh, mm, maybe a fruit roll up. <laughs> maybe a fruit roll up behind the neck. Right. And this top part. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but let me finish. Uh curling these guys and I'll be right back. I'm at the end and you know I'm not gonna do this what I'm gonna do is more mamba because that's what I have here and then that way it just kind of matches up the last three sections that are gonna be put together here are just that mamba. Now so a couple things we can just cut this off or we can tie it to that one. What I'm gonna do is pop this candy in here and let it get wrapped and we can put a little tape if you want to help you out, but I'm going to take this other side and pop it into this other side too. Okay? And again, if you feel like putting some tape is going to help you out, then go for it. The thing is, I already have some um, of the little curling ribbon there, but I don't mind. So what I'm going to do is just hold those together and take some more curling ribbon and tie it together. Um, again, a little bit different because I, I only have so much length here. So I'm going to put those together and I'm going to tie off that or cut off the excess plastic. There's a small amount there. So just tie that, tie that. And I'll just cut this excess piece off. And I'm sorry if my arm's going to be in the way because it's totally going to be in the way. And again, if you want to tape that, I was going to try to just pull it, but you know what? Let's make it nicer. <laughs> and that's basically our end. Now, if you had more length, you can just tie it in a bow and you're done with that. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is try to get that a little bit closer there. And that's that. And some people like to add money. You can obviously do any kind of snack, any kind of anything. Like, okay, so when I was in uh, Hawaii, they had these, but they had um, little bottles of liquor in them. So, I mean, that's something else you can think of. But maybe if someone's turning 21, a little lay with, um, like, uh, little, yeah, little bottles of alcohol. They were, really, it was, they were very cute. They were, like, 40 bucks. So I was like, mm, I could probably do that for much cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> but there it is. So this one ends here, and then this will be on the back of the neck. It's pretty secure. Again, you have your ties there if you want to tape it so it doesn't come apart, but I'm pretty sure that's not going to come apart. And um, that's it, guys. So I'll make a couple of these, and I'm sure Miranda's going to want one, so maybe I'll make some for... Actually, I should make some for her little friends, too. That'd be really cute, just going out for um, summer break, you know? But there it is, and a nice length. So when you wear this, it is... It's long. I mean... I can't really give you an idea of it, but if the bag was 30 inches long, so about 60 inches, um, not quite though. I don't think that those measurements are correct, <laughs> to be honest. Or maybe I use a 24 inch side. I don't know because I cut it the bag this way, you know, so it might have been 24 inches deep and 30 inches wide. I don't know. But it hangs really well. Like if I put this on myself, um, it hangs like, like a lay would. So anyway. All right, guys, well, just something fun uh, to think about and try out. I have another one to make, at least, maybe several more for Miranda and her friends. But I think this will be really fun. We're also getting him a, an orchid lay, so he'll have that uh, gorgeousness. And then this guy, they can just have fun and eat this on their way to uh, the theme park. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I'll have some images, and I'll see you all at the next one. Bye now. Thank you.